I'm Howard Trackman. I'm the Chief of Pediatric Nephrology at NYU, and I was the lead investigator for the Duet trial. This is a, cl a randomized clinical trial that was focused on children and adults with a disease called FSGS, primary FSGS, which is a major cause of morbidity in adults and children. Nearly 50% of patients with this disease will go on to develop end-stage kidney disease, meaning requiring dialysis or transplantation. And to date, there are no approved therapies for this condition. The only clinical guideline recommendation is the KDGO advice to use ACE ARB inhibitors and potentially introduce calcineurin inhibitors, but that's really not based on strong clinical evidence. So the DUET trial was a one of really one of the first clinical trials that was focused on an intervention targeting patients with this disorder. It was a randomized clinical trial, an eight-week treatment period in which patients age 8 to 75 with a protein creatinine ratio exceeding one were randomized to receive either 200, 400, or 800 milligrams of sparsentin, this new agent, which is a dual antagonist of the angiotensin type 1 receptor and the endothelin type A receptor, or herbisartan for eight weeks. They were, after the completion of the eight-week period, the patients were offered the option to remain in an open-label extension in which they would receive the dose of the drug that they had been assigned to. The study was conducted in four countries at 48 sites and was completed in a fairly impressive short period of time of about two years. 109 patients were randomized, of whom 96 were evaluable because they had samples that were provided at baseline and at the eight-week um, evaluation point. The primary endpoint was the reduction in the percent reduction in proteinuria. A key secondary endpoint was to assess whether it achieved a modified partial remission. This is a new term that has been derived based on research conducted by Jonathan Troost at Michigan using the, the database from Neptune and FSGS and where, where he showed that children and adults who achieved at least a 40% reduction in proteinuria to below 1.5 had a long-term outcome that looked much closer to a complete remission than a partial remission as defined previously. So what was the outcome of the trial? It was really quite striking. In this study, the, in combination, the treatment with sparsentin, the novel dual receptor ag antagonist, achieved a reduction in a 40, about a 45% reduction versus about 19% in the herbisartan arm alone. This, was, this effect was also confirmed in when the two highest doses were confirmed, and it was also confirmed in an intention to treat analysis, which would include the 13 and impute a zero response. So the statistical analysis is quite robust. The safety analysis was very, very, the safety signal was reassuring. There was Ver comparable number of patients in the two arms that needed to have the drug discontinued or withdrawn because of serious adverse events or events that the patients couldn't tolerate. And one of the most striking findings was that during the open label extension, this is when the tr patients were receiving sparsentin with knowingly in an open label manner, there was a continued increase in the number of patients who were achieving this modified partial response. So overall, I think this study demonstrates the feasibility and the efficacy of this novel approach of targeting both angiotensin receptor axis as well as endothelin inhibition. It shows that this, not, this therapy is a significant improvement over the current standard of care, which is herbisartan or an, an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. It was safe, and I think it offers significant hope that this novel treatment would be a, a significant improvement in the care and might be the, the first drug that would achieve FDA approval specifically in this at-risk population.